This video lecture is our final one on our Fitch Dance Program tips. So we're going to put it all together. So this is what's required for your program. You need to have at least three dance step functions to work. So maybe you already have twirl and hopefully you have at least two others. But you can have more than three. So the more dance moves you have, the more interesting your dance will be. When everything is, when your dance move functions are finished in your main program, main function, you're going to call your dance moves in the order that you want. And you can call them more than once. So here's just an example of a really simple dance. I've got four different dance moves. So I've got twirl, moonwalk, shimmy, and fluffy dance. And I've decided on an order. I'm going to use twirl several times. And I start with my object call and I end with close. Great. Now here's another variation. This time I used a couple of for loops. Throw in some interesting things here and I've used a couple of function calls in each one. I haven't used any random numbers but that would be something else I could add to it to make it even more interesting. So this is the kind of end result that your Finch dance program should do. Hopefully yours will be more interesting than mine. Here's some things to remember. To make your program more interesting, use random numbers. Change the beat color frequently. It kind of adds some interest. Maybe put in some sound using the buzzer method. You can use loops and maybe even a condition. So think about what could be an if statement. You can have several dance step options, more than three, and you can call your functions multiple times to have kind of a long, drawn-out dance. When you're finished with your program, make sure your name is in the comment block. You can add some comments to your code every now and then to explain what your code is doing. So especially if your functions are getting lengthy, throw in some comments. That will be helpful to me and anybody else looking at your code. And you can also look for duplication when you're doing this. So if you see that you're repeating your steps, make that a function and may do a function call instead. So you can have helper functions. Save your file in your own Finch Python 120 folder. And then also make sure your program is error free. Add your name in the file name if you haven't already. And finally, save it in the backpack for a grade. So this is a little different because it's not Cold Sculptor. You can't just give me a URL. You're actually going to take the file and save it in the backpack. I will be responsible for putting it into a, a Finch Python folder and running it and making sure it works right. Good luck and have fun.